Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Oakland County prosecutors want a prison sentence of at least 10 years for both James and Jennifer Crumbly. Court documents show a request from Jennifer's attorney, Shannon Smith, to allow her to complete her sentence at Smith's guest home less than 10 miles from Oxford High School. Jennifer also requested to be placed under house arrest. Meanwhile, James Crumbly requested to be sentenced to time served. Oakland County's assistant prosecutor says the parents showed a lack of remorse in their pre-sentence interviews. The Crumblies are both set for sentencing April 9th. The Clare County Sheriff's Department announcing one of their deputies passed away. Kimba McRitchie was a member of the Mounted Division. The agency says she was injured while trail riding her horse with her family in Tennessee and died on Tuesday. On Facebook, the agency called her an outstanding officer who cared deeply for her family, community and country. Flint Community Schools and the United Teachers of Flint Union officially reaching an agreement Wednesday night, ending a month-long stalemate between the two. Superintendent Kevin Jones hopes to have the contract in effect by the end of the month. We expect to learn more about that agreement at the school board meeting next Wednesday. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. Today we are seeing the last bit of this low pressure system that's been moving through and taking its time as it does. So as far as the afternoon, plan on still seeing some rain and mainly rain, though the hour by hour forecast is trying to show some of those snowflakes. A lot of us are seeing temperatures above the freezing mark, so it's just coming down as a lighter rain. Maybe you're getting a snowflake or a flurry that tries to mix in, but into the afternoon, we're still going to find that we just have very spotty and scattered rain showers that'll still last into the evening but the coverage just continues to come lighter as the day goes on. As we go into Friday morning, we're going to have enough cold air to where we are going to be watching a few flurries still be thrown across the thumb. You can see the cloud cover associated with it. Now, higher up in the atmosphere as we go throughout the day on Friday, there is just a little bit of a wave that comes through high up again, a little pocket of energy. So that could pause and bring us a little bit of a rain chance that we are monitoring. We're just now starting to pick up on that signal to see if those ingredients are going to line up. Up, so we may need to make some updates to that Friday forecast, so stay tuned to that. As we go into Saturday morning, you're going to find that we have the cloud cover that starts out the weekend, but we will be bringing in that sunshine. We'll just have to wait for it. As far as Friday, it's a big day for baseball in Midland and even across mid-Michigan. As the loons are going to be opening up, we're going to find temperatures for first pitch to be into the mid-40s, and we just slowly cool on out into the 40s through the night. Keep in mind, northwest winds are going to be around 5 to 15 miles per hour, so so may well make things in right field a little bit different as far as that home run game, but at least we're hoping to keep the game dry. Again, we'll have updates if we do need to make any updates. As far as the weekend forecast, you're going to find we have 50s on tap, 52 Saturday, 54 by Sunday, and here's that sunshine that we have to have patience for. You will notice a few more clouds on Sunday, but overall not a bad weekend. And then beyond the weekend, we have the total solar eclipse coming away our way on Monday. We are going find temperatures in the upper 50s. There's still that slight chance of moisture. We're watching it into the morning, but partly cloudy skies look to fill in behind it. So we're really watching that forecast closely. Still a little bit unsettled as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, but the overall trend is that temperatures are climbing for 50s and 60s to come. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.